Hey all you Garnet fans out there in Garnet land. Uh, I'm here to share with you an unboxing video. I uh, recently have been cleaning out some stuff in my mom's basement and I discovered that she has, she's kept all my childhood stuff and I found them in and among all that crap. This basically brand new in its original packaging. Um, and you can see on the top here, it says made in Canada. And on the side here, it says Solo Box. And also here, Solo Box. The packaging is made by Domtar Packaging Limited, Winnipeg, Canada. So let's have a look at what's inside this box because I think it's gonna be exciting to you folks. Okay, so I'm opening up the, uh, the packaging here and I see that there's an instructional uh, sheet here. And, this is this is gar very very thrifty gar here basically what he's done is he's he's printed one sheet that lists four different products you've got the mjm three to one mixer the mjm ab box the mjm solo box and the mjm splitter okay so what i have here is the solo box the mjm solo box now, I don't remember exactly, but I think Gar told me that MJM stood for the initials of someone, and I can't remember who it is. So if anybody in Garnet Land remembers, please uh, let me know. So, so MJM, it, it says here, we are proud to present a new line of accessories that are original, unique, and inexpensive. Thrifty Gar. More importantly, they fill a definite need in our music industry. The MJM family consists of five products. They do not require any batteries or power source whatsoever. Again, super thrifty and very practical. They are, pri they are primarily function boxes that switch signals or attenuate to desired levels. So I won't read all of the different units here, but I will read the, the solo box because that's what we have here is the solo box. So the solo box is, it says it solves an old problem for musicians, how to turn their volume up or down while playing without losing time or changing the tone of the instrument. Nothing worse than trying to fiddle around with the volume while you're, you know, breaking into a, a serious solo. So this foot switch lets you choose between straight through for solos or a level control that can be preset to any desired rhythm level. So basically, it has just a simple attenuator in there that uh, and there's a volume control, a potentiometer that controls the amount of signal that goes through. So when you step on the, the box, it, it engages and attenuates to the, to the level you've set. You step on it again and it just sends it straight through. Really simple. All right, so let's have a look at what we have here in the box. Okay, so very exciting. There's some bubble wrap, which I think I put on here. And then, whoa, look at this super funky psychedelic box. Look at it. This is quite possibly the coolest garnet thing I own. So as you can see, there's, a, there's an input here, in, and there's an output, out. And on the top, you have, you have a simple garnet um, knob. This is for setting your, your desired rhythm level and a very simple foot switch. Perfect. So, <coughs> pardon me. So the story behind this is I actually, I was visiting a store called Cam's Musical Supplies. This was about, I would say circa 1999. And I was just getting into collecting. I was still a fairly young man in my twenties and I, there was, a store still called Cam's Musical Supplies, which I guess was an offshoot of, of uh, Gar's original musical business. It was located on the second floor of an old building on Sargent, just across from where uh, Superstore is today on Sargent and I think Arena Road, or Mill Steagall Drive, maybe it's called now. And there was like a, uh, like a, a Yamaha ATV and snowmobile dealership on the main floor, and upstairs there was a, a, a a kind of an old, very small Spartan musical shop. And I, I talked to the old fellow there and I, I, I don't have his name. Ah, I have his 
card here. Look at this. <coughs> card actually says, Guitar World Incorporated, 1360 Sargent Avenue. Ted is his name. Ted, okay, used in vintage instruments, bought, sold, and traded. Okay, so, so he had basically taken over Cam's musical supplies, was running it under the name Guitar World Incorporated, and he, he told me some stories about uh, working for Gar, I think, as a salesman back in the day. And he told me that 1360 Sargent was the original factory, the original garden factory. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I remember from my visit there. But he had a whole box. Like, he had literally just a, just a, a bin full of these solo boxes in their original brand new packaging. And he was basically selling them off, like, for next to nothing. Uh, now, I have to admit, I don't think I've ever had the need to use this um, and actually some Garnet amps have a preset solo knob on the back the jammer I think for example and the enforcer I think have have that feature built in but to me it's super cool and I, I cherish the story of visiting this this place 1360 listening to this old uh, fellow tell me about the days working for Garnet back in the day uh, the, the the musical scene back in the 60s and 70s and, um, yeah, just having the opportunity to find a unique Garnet treasure. All right, that's it. So, Garnet fans, I hope everyone's staying safe, and I hope everyone's playing their Garnets and having fun. So, this is uh, Stephen Combe saying, keep on rocking in the free world. And don't forget to turn up your solo. <laughs>